everyone, it's Rochelle and welcome back to my channel. So I'm back with another video for you guys and today I'm going to show you guys how I made this wig right here and I'm going to show you guys how I achieved this color. So if you want to see how I achieve it then please continue to watch. Alright guys, so let's get started. I'm going to be using some 613 hair and this hair is from West Kiss. I'm using a three bundles and a frontal to make my wig. And I'm gonna put all the hair info in the description bar down below so you can go ahead and check it out. Ah, oh, look at my nails, cute. I'm talking about my nails because they don't look raggedy for once, so I'm showing you guys, cute, right? All right, enough about my nails. Anyways, back to the hair. So this is the color we are going for today. And I always test like a strand of hair before I actually color the entire thing. So we're gonna be doing a Violet Dream by Arctic Fox. I know I've been using a lot of Arctic Fox lately, this video is not sponsored by them. I actually just really love the product. So I'm just gonna put this in a mixing bowl and I'm gonna pour it into this bucket right here. We're gonna be doing the watercolor method. So that is boiling hot water that I'm using. And then I'm gonna go in with my brush and just dip the hair. Just dip the bundle of hair into the bucket. You guys see me doing this before. It's really easy. However, um, I don't like using this dye for this method and the water kind of diluted the hair like it didn't come out as bright and pigmented as I wanted so I added more dye to the water because I really want this color to be bright and bold and vibrant so I dipped it one more time make sure you're wearing gloves when you do this or else you will ruin your nails so this is what we have here it's nice but it's still not as vibrant as I want it to be all right so I'm gonna color this the old-fashioned way by using my hand and not doing the watercolor method um, yeah it was kind of annoying that I had to do this but I only had two bottles of that dye and I really really did not want to finish it doing the watercolor method because the more dye you add to it in the water the more pigmented it will be but I did not have enough for all of my bundles of hair so I only used two bottles to do the three bundles and one frontal and this dye it's a little bit more on the thicker side so it's not very liquidy and runny like the door so I feel like it's a little bit more harder to do the watercolor method with so I actually went ahead and I did watercolor method the frontal partially as you can see so the color is not not as vibrant as I want it to be but like I mentioned before I didn't want to pour the entire bottle in it and then I would not be able to do the rest of the hair so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the color using my brush all over the frontal now I did protect my frontal with some Vaseline so there is uh, Vaseline all over the lace to protect it so I don't stain my lace and the color is starting to look a lot more vibrant, just exactly how I want it to be. And I'm gonna let this sit for about 45 minutes. And then I applied the dye all over my other bundles. I let it sit for 45 minutes. And I stepped off camera to wash it all out. I didn't put any shampoo or conditioner or anything like that in it. Just washed it out with water. All right, we are done with coloring. Now let's move on to making this wig. So I'm gonna be using a dome mesh style cap. This is what I use to make all my wigs and I'm gonna put it on my canvas head. That is the wrong way to do it. That's not how you do it. So you wanna make sure you apply it like how you'd apply it on your head, if that makes any sense. And I always have a measuring tape, so I know my measurements already, but I'm just showing you guys. Whenever I make my wigs, I always measure everything out. Front to back, 14 inches, actually no, 13 and a half, side to side, 12. So that's pretty much my measurements. And this wig is customized for my head. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply this. Hi Simba, my cat, like literally jumps on my back while I'm doing this. He's so cute though. Like, does your cat do that or is it just my cat? He's been doing this since he was a kitten and I thought it was cute when he was a kitten, but now he's big and it's like, mm -mm, it's not so cute. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pin that frontal down to the wig cap and get her ready to sew it down. Now to make a wig, you're gonna need a thread and you're gonna need a needle. So you're gonna get yourself some weave thread and a needle. The needle that I'm using, it's like a hook curved needle. So this is really good for making wigs. And I'm gonna go ahead and start making my stitch. Now, this might be a bit time consuming at first, but before, when I first started this, oh my God, it took me forever. Now I can actually sew these within an hour. So I'm just, I'm pretty fast with it now. However, if you don't have time for this and you just don't wanna make a wig, you can always get yourself a lace wig, a 613 wig that you don't have to make yourself, but you can color it um, if you want to get achieve this color. Uh, maybe you can find this color online, but yeah, you can definitely get a full lace wig or a lace wig and, and, and skip this whole part. But I like making mine. 
Anyways, back to what I'm doing. So I'm taking the first weft of hair and I attach it to the wig cap and I'm gonna be making my stitch a nice and slow. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the fold over method. So I'm gonna continue folding over the hair instead of cutting the weft. So go ahead and make your stitch. And I do have more detailed videos on how I made my wigs. This one might not be a bit beginner friendly, but I do have beginner friendly ones. Guys, as you can see from my backgrounds, I have some of my favorite wigs on my shelves right now because you guys suggested that I include my wigs on my wig stand, on my shelf, not my wig stand, <laughs> because I wanted a different background. So let me know what you guys think of the wigs on the shelf. And I will do a wig collection video very, very soon. Okay, I will. Anyways, back to making the wigs. So I went ahead and I cut the wefts and I'm gonna start going straight across. So straight across all the way until I get to the top. Not gonna do the fold over method at the top. Yeah, so I'm just gonna go straight across all the way to the top. So to sew the wig, it doesn't take me a long time anymore. The only thing that takes a long time really is really the color. Depending on what color I'm doing, if I'm using multiple colors to make a wig, but that usually takes the longest. But yeah, so the wig is completed and I'm just gonna go ahead and cut off that excess cap because we don't need it if you keep it there you're going to be able to see it when you're wearing the wig and it's not going to look cute at all so now i'm going to go in with my water bottle and i'm going to go ahead and tweeze the hairline a lot of you guys ask me why do we tweeze the hairline because we want it to look as natural as possible even though this color is wild and yes it's a wig but we still want it to look good i want when people see like oh damn her wig look good right so tweeze the hairline so um didn't go in a lot of detail with that because i do have very detailed video on tweezing so i'm gonna go ahead and blow her out blow her dry she's looking cute i'm loving this color you guys so it actually looks like a purple with some pink tones in it and i don't know if it's because i watercolor the bundles at first well one of the bundles and then I went ahead and applied the dye on it but it had almost like this highlighted look like the colors look like it was not just one color but I loved it anyways I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my babeless flat iron and straighten her out she's looking real cute so now we're gonna apply the wig and my daughter is in the background turning up hey t hey girl <laughs> okay so the glue that i'm using is lace grip extreme hold i did not apply my wig on camera because i do have a lot of detailed videos on how i apply my wig my wig is on and she looking a little bulky so i'm just gonna flatten it down with my hot comb and the brand that i use it's called Anne. i got it from amazon.com be careful because it's hot okay don't let it touch your face and i'm using some mousse some hair foam to flatten it down and guys, I pull out a little bit of, I did some baby hair with this wig because I tinted the actual lace on the wig and I think I tinted it a little too dark. So I use a lace tint, the wig gurus, but I can wash it out, it's fine. But yeah, so I had to put some baby hair down because I did tint it a little dark. But yeah, going back in with that mousse just to flatten it and look who's rocking the center part today. Are you guys feeling the center part? Let me know in the comment section. So I used the flat iron to straighten it so it looks extra sleek. And then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like if I did a side part. So I went ahead and I did a side part. Um, whenever you change a part, you do have to either wet it or use some mousse to flatten it. But yeah, I changed the part and I'm gonna go in with my flat iron to curl it, nothing crazy. But let me know what you guys prefer, the side part or the center. I actually like both. I really liked how both of them look. So yeah, to achieve the curls, I just use the flat iron and I curl it away from my face. I pretty much do this whenever I rock curls in all my videos. So yeah, it's pretty easy and simple. And yeah, this is the completed look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful to you. Please give me a thumbs up if you do. Comment down below and please let me know what you guys want to see next. I will see you in another video very, very soon. I love you guys so much and thank you for watching and supporting my channel. Bye!